Angeles Stribling for Capital Jazz TV on our 25th anniversary here with the very talented Lindsay Webster. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is your first time performing at the festival, right? It is. You did so well. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel really good. It was um, it was an amazing set. Uh, you know, I was a little worried because we flew in on a red eye from California uh -huh. because we played at the Newport Beach Jazz Festival yesterday, and uh, you know, I was wondering how my voice was going to be, how tired I was going to be, and um, I think a mix of adrenaline and uh, just taking care of myself on the road. You know, I'm like learning better how to how to keep myself healthy when, when I'm out there uh, eating right and whatever. So I think that, you know, a combination of things. And also, it's just such a great festival. It's a great festival. Lindsay, you sounded so good. This was my first time hearing you sing. Awesome. And uh, it was funny. You started off with a really cute story of how you did one of those. Uh, it <laughs> reminded me of those. There was an airline who did these commercials, Want to Get Away. Yeah. <laughs> You welcomed uh, yourself to the wrong city or the wrong yeah. festival. What was that? Uh, well, it was at it was yesterday at the Newport Beach Jazz Festival. <laughs> I was, you know, I'm just like trying to keep track of where we're going. Like I don't even know what's next week, really. Like you know, it's hard <laughs> to keep track of. But um, I walked out and I said, "How y'all doing, Capital Jazz?" And then um, crickets. Yeah. No. And then and then Keith was like playing piano. He was like Capital Jazz, and I was like. <laughs> Just joking. Hi, I'm doing Newport Beach Day. <laughs> and I explained myself. I was like, we're going there tomorrow. Please forgive me. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure they were cool. <laughs> they were. Everyone was cool. And then we had a great crowd after. We did a meet and greet and got to meet like everyone. And That's awesome. funny. Yeah. But this was so cool. I mean, you know, this is our 25th anniversary. So what a great time to pick to come for the first time. Yeah, I mean, I'm just so grateful uh, to be here because, you know, we wanted to play this festival for years now um, and finally got the opportunity. And I think it's really cool that it's on the 25th anniversary, It's very too. cool. It's memorable. But I have you know? to ask you, now you're doing all of these other festivals, like you mentioned, you were just at one the other day. What would you say is the difference with Cap Capital Jazz versus <sighs> the others? My gosh, I guess just the scale of it. Like, it's very big. Um, Newport Beach is, is large, but you know, it's just uh, more contained. I feel like you guys have so much going on. Your lineup is just totally insane. And every all, year. Yeah, and, and you know, just us dealing um, with, with all the logistics beforehand, like emails right back, just, you know, that, that means a lot when you are trying to keep your life organized as a traveling musician and people just get right back to you. Oh, I yeah. feel very well taken care of. That's so good. And professional. So the band. Yeah, really, what you really have here is a professional organization. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you're, uh, okay, you've got to tell me your influences. As soon as you started singing, I was like, a little bit of draw stones, kind of the sound, and tell tell us about your musical uh, background. Yeah, well, um, anyone who knows me knows that I love Mariah Carey uh, from like '90s Mariah. That's my that's '90s my jam. Mariah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness! Like like love takes time. And I don't want to cry and emotions and all those songs that just you know she put it all out there. Um, and really, I just listened to a lot of Mariah growing up. Of course, you know my parents were like playing Aretha Franklin and the Beatles. And it was a very eclectic mix. Um, Born but, in Woodstock. Yeah, and you know what's interesting is is Woodstock is a very folk and like Americana music music mm. place. Um, like the band Levon Helms from there, Bob Dylan, uh, Janis Joplin spent a lot of time there. So um, it's more of like a rock roots folk kind of thing and uh it's a little different you know when we came out and started playing uh doing like jazz and soul and we just started building like slowly a fan base in our area and we, we started playing more and more outside and just kept it going kept writing music and they're feeling it recording albums and yeah and you know my mantra in the studio on like the first album was like what would mariah do because i really i didn't have my own voice yet, I like you know that. i was She's like a major influence on yeah, you. No, I, I, what I'm would not mariah kidding. do in a situation like this it's it's you know i've i've changed my ways now. I've no, developed I my own it. voice. And I mean, I, Mariah, I, like everyone knows that I'm kind of obsessed. And so she's just, I just, there's no voice like hers oh, she's in amazing. my opinion. And I mean, Whitney's amazing. Somewhere. Whitney's amazing. Shaka Khan is undeniable. But no for me, it was just something about Mariah with her. She could do, you know, like all that like light, fluffy stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Oh, it's <laughs> nice. I like the light, fluffy stuff too. too. And your voice, your, your, when you're singing, your voice is just so pure 
And you know, you can tell you're just really just in the song. And I love that about a song yeah, and a singer you. who can just, just sing the song. Yeah, you know, I really, I try to just um, draw out that pure emotion. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I just, I want people to feel the music. And so I really, I try to get to that, that place where I can, you know, give that emotion to the crowd and look at people and, and think about the words that I'm singing um, to make it come through. That's yeah. beautiful. Would you consider yourself a jazz singer? Um, yeah, I mean, I love jazz. Uh, I think that my genre definitely isn't obviously straight up jazz. Um, we have some R&B influences, mm -hmm. some soul influences. Nice. Uh, so I, you know, jazz singers, they can sing all those crazy scales. Like they know those crazy like out notes to sing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite there. I actually do want to work on that. Uh, on my on my ear when it comes to those jazz like all those mixolydian and Lydia, mm. all those scales scat a little bit you know like when a sax player is soloing and you're like whoa what's that crazy thing he's playing mm. you know some some jazz or like straight up jazz singers mm. know how to do that mm -hmm. and um, you know it's 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 hard for me to say that I'm a jazz singer I love singing jazz like the old standards but uh, you know I. You're kind of like Mariah Carey meets jazz, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> yeah, you know, some people have called me like the female Michael Franks. Oh, that's nice. Which yeah. I found interesting because he does. He has a very beautiful, smooth, smooth oh. voice. He's yeah. performed at the festival many times. Okay. Yeah. That makes oh, yeah. sense. That oh, makes sense. Absolutely. It's yeah. good. Well, you know, I'm just getting to know your music, but I'm a fan. I was enjoying your performance. And when I saw that you were from Woodstock, of course, everyone thinks Woodstock. You think the 60s. And, yeah. you know, that's what Woodstock was pretty much known for. But yeah. Yeah. It's a new day it's Woodstock. Yeah, it is. You know, Woodstock has changed even from the time, I mean, I grew up, I have basically, my, I was two months old when my parents moved me to Woodstock. And uh, so I really, I hadn't, I didn't go to New York City until I was nine. Oh, wow. And you're right is, there. Yeah. Which, and, you know, my parents were just country kind of living, the hippies and whatever. Not, you know. Hippies on a certain level. They were responsible hippies. <laughs> right. But, uh, <laughs> Different levels of hippies. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and it being so close to New York City, a lot of uh, that has, you know, they've kind of like discovered Woodstock. And so things have changed. Things are becoming a little more um, modern. Just like everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You know, but I think there's still some, some towns like up more upstate even that more like we're about two hours north of the city. Okay. And there are still some towns that haven't been like discovered yet by like the New York City people, uh, and <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, the the economy is doing well when people come up and they they come and they do their tourist thing and they buy lunch at that restaurant and they go to the the little shop with the tie dye shirts. And, so Woodstock and, still has that appeal. Yeah, you know, I think that it's a little. I don't know. It's not really that authentic to me because Woodstock has changed so much in a way. Like so, like the tie dye shirt thing it's just is kind like of propaganda, and it's yeah, in a way. And I'm not talking bad about my town. I'm, I'm no, just but saying I get it. that. I understand. You know, but it's a business too, and Woodstock is Woodstock. So there you go. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you so much for oh. being here and keep doing your thing. It's absolutely beautiful. All right. Thank you so much for having me. You're Appreciate welcome. It. <laughs> for Capital Jazz TV, I'm Angela Stribling here with Lindsay Webster.